What's up guys, Garden Graft and we're back. So you noticed I'm in a bit of a bird cage. That's cause this episode we're doing the Great Horn Bill and the Toucan. So uh yeah, I'm gonna pretty much have the birds divide up into different cages just that way it's not overly cramped and it's like here's a good cage. I just kinda came up with it, you know. So uh if you hear anyone hunters over, so you'll probably hear him talking in the background. If you don't, good for you. Alright, so um first thing we need to do, uh we need to start uh terraforming. So uh yeah, let me do that really fast. Alright, so we're done with that. So, uh, now I want to add in, like, the water stuff. And, uh, yeah, we will pretty much be done. So, this right here, I'm just going to make it slabs, you know. So, first off, I'm just going to start with just outlining it with just the stone. So, since these right here, I hope that they don't drown. Because I know some things tend to drown in water because of how stupid they can be. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. And since I'm using slabs, I don't know why on earth I grabbed dually pads, but for some reason I did. So, uh, first off, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the water, and I'll start changing up the blocks a little bit. So, uh, I need to make a mix between mossy cobblestone, cobblestone, with some andesite and stuff. Just kind of get it that little mix in there. So, something about like this right here. Uh, that there will work for in the water. And then all you have to do is just go around here and uh, pretty much change up a few blocks just to make it look a little bit different. About like that. That there works. Alright, um, I can just get rid of this because I plan on making a few custom rocks with these right here soon. Alright, so now it's time for the trees. So the trees are pretty much like, we're going to have like some stuff around, you know. Uh, don't really know what I was going to say there, but you know, it's whatever. So, um, here's my plan. We'll have like some, there's not going to be like big trees. It's just going to be like one high trees, but it's going to be like extremely bushy. And we'll hide some like hay bales up there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover them with vines, so that way it kind of looks more in blended into the tree if some part of it's popping out. So that way it's kind of like a nest. So the first tree, uh, I tried to build it as like a pretty high up, but just not too high to make it look like to where it doesn't even, shouldn't really be there. So I want to try and make them like different heights. And I'm going to add in a few smaller custom trees. But these right here are going to be pretty much the trees that they'll climb across. Because I'm going to be adding in some like um, fence posts and stuff around it, just so that way it looks a little bit better. But this over here, I'm not really going to put too much effort into these. These right here are just pretty much just made to look like kind of like just normal average trees. Alright, so now I have like the trees up and done. So now I need to add the like the like the fencing just to make it look like kind of like branches sticking out of the tree a little bit. So what I want to get it to do is just make it kind of look like it's hanging down from the tree kind of like that and make them kind of connect in a way. But now I want to try and add in like a few nests. Like at the top of some trees, I'm going to add in some nests. I'm trying to add them in the lower ones. But, about like that. I don't want them in every single tree. I'll put one more right back here. And, uh, yeah, they either can do it for pretty much these bigger trees. Now it's time for, like, the smaller trees. Now the smaller trees, uh, let me see here. I want to get a mix of the leaves as well. So I want to get a little bit of oak, I mean, yeah, oak leaves in there as well. So this one over here needs to be some oak leaves just to get a change. So I want it to just kind of pop up a little bit. I won't like, you know, like the junk, the, even the natural jungles of Minecraft, they still are like a little bit different. Like they have different varieties of leaves, you know, they have like oak and jungle. And uh, so, yeah, that's so what I'm trying to also do with this over here as well. So now I just want to go ahead and add some leaves back around here. Um, a little bit of oak leaves as well. Uh, just because they need to have this like jungle sense to it, you know. It needs to just look jungly, it needs to smell jungly, it needs to feel jungly, you know? So there's probably like a shorter episode, to be honest. Uh, uh, so, let me see here. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, uh, let me just get out of here really fast. I had doors with this just because, just to make it easy to get in and out. So with the otters, someone did comment that I need, that even, I forgot that there are actual spawnable mushrooms in this game. Like in this version, like in this uh, 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 resource pack. And so I spawned some in. I tried to get as many different variants as I could. Because there are like some blue and green ones like here. Let me show you. See there's blue right there. I don't really want to use the blue ones. Just because it's not as natural looking. When you have this type of vibe going. I just chose one of these mild. Like these really like Minecraft colored ones. And I chose the rest of them to be kind of like a brownish or yellowish brown tan color. So um, yeah I did change that. And also someone also commented that I had a tire swing to the grill exhibit. And so here's what I ended up with. Tell me if you like it or not, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't look like a tire swing as much without the black stone, but I think it's alright. But uh, I just want to know how y'all feel about it. Uh, you know, so tell me how you feel about it. Like, I don't really care. So, um, let's go ahead and get back in here. 
Uh, we need to add in a few just dead bushes just here and there. Just kind of spread it out. Just got to make sure that they're just there. You know, you can't have a jungle without some dead things. All right, and then I just want to bone meal just a little bit here and there. And then I'd also like to try and add in just like a few of my own plants down. So I'd like to mainly get lilacs in and some blue orchards in. Just because they just give me like this jungly feel to the place. For some reason to me, I just think these right here, whenever I think of jungle, these right here are like the two that just instantly pop in my mind as plants. And I have Venus fly traps, and I'm thinking about adding those in. I just don't really know, because I feel like if I add them in, I don't know if they interact with other things. I've never really tried it out. But if I like, if I just come over here one day and a bird's dead, it's either because it drowned or it suffocated in a tree somehow, because birds are stupid, or it um uh, definitely a Venus fly trap killed it. But uh, I will actually try it out just for now. But if I find a dead bird, it's just going to get out of here really fast. So let me see here. Venus fly trap. We'll put it right there, and we'll put another one right about here. So now we have two Venus fly traps. And since this area is the jungle, I don't mind getting some different types of mushrooms. It's just that the other one just didn't really look right with all sorts of different types of mushrooms. Because this right here, I want some different types. Alright, there will work. And then I can put another just right over here. There's the blue kind. And I'll slip in another right back here. Alright, there will work. So I can put all these away. Uh, I can put this away. Now we're pretty much left with the um, sea pickles, which I'm just going to spread a few out here and there. Uh, like so. They just make these like really cool, just some sort of fungus, you know. There's a fungus among us. So, uh, you just gotta spread a few of these out. Just add some decoration detail and stuff. And then I want to add some bamboo. The bamboo is going to go more towards the back of the exhibit just because uh, I just don't really want it cramping up the front too much. So, it's just going to go more near the back. Uh, so, I think some about like this right here will work just fine. So this right here works. I think this right here is alright. This right here is a pretty alright exhibit. Now I just have to go ahead and add just like a few rocks. I'm not going to use these over here. I'm just going to make like a few just like normal storm slabs. So I want to add one about right around in here. So I'm just going to destroy these. Destroy that. And just kind of make like my own little rock right here. Like that. And then I'll go right over here. Add one in right over here. And uh, then I can just place like one more down right back here i feel like i'm not adding enough detail back here so i'll place it about right over here staff's gonna have a hard entry time but you know it's, it's whatever all right so this is a complete exhibit i had a little sign right here great hit hornbills and toucans so uh yeah we can go ahead and just uh i forgot this barriers there and we can go ahead and add these in so let's go ahead and go in here uh and uh so let's go ahead and just start spawning these bad boys in. We got one right there. Ooh, all right. Got a different color. Uh, that's different. All right. I'm trying to get one of the clat. Uh, nope. You're the same. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm trying to get one with like some something. Ooh, like, there's like the OG toucan that everyone knows and loves. So I think three of each should be fine. So let's go ahead and get a great hornbill in. Nice. Then uh, right there. And we'll put one more right up here. I'm pretty sure there's only one style of these. So, uh... Please tell me they're not going to do this. I guess they're just going to fly around up there. Alright, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Hey, um... Alright, well, uh, this area is why I don't like dealing with birds. They do this. This area is why birds can be stupid. Alright, well, uh, that, that's a shame. Made this all good exhibit just for them to float up there when I was going to see them. Uh, yeah, that's, that's bad. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this right here was the uh, Great Hornbill and uh, Toucan exhibit. Uh, they're stuck everywhere. They're all just not even moving because they're absolute retards, I guess. So, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please uh, smash the like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.